Hi, I'm going to discuss a very basic down and dirty fighting kit. Alright. <clears throat> Here's what I'm wearing currently. I have Spalders, arm armor, um, specifically uh, elbows with attached uh, sp splinted uh, van braces. Yeah, so a full, full arm harness, um, padded cuisses with knee cops, and solid, solid shin protection, and I'm breaking even over top of Gamson. So, this is just my very basic, boring kit that I wear when I just want to fight, and um, I usually wear a shirt of mail underneath. Sometimes I admit, I admit it, because honestly, even though it's 14 pounds, it is an additional 14 pounds along with the 50 pounds of equipment I wear. So, when I want to fight light, I dress like this. Um, so, on the ground here are gauntlets, a hound skull helmet with full facial protection, my falchion, and a shield, a gift from my, from my baron and uncle. This combination here will see you through many fights. All right, a brigandine is great because it protects all, if not most, of your torso. As you can see, I have back protection, side protection, lower back protection, front, front protection. Um, this kit's very light, very mobile. In the next video, I'm going to discuss where I got all this. Thank you for watching. All right, I'm going to discuss where one can get armor. All right, so for starters, we're going to talk about my gambits in here. All right, it's uh, one layer of wool sandwiched between two layers of canvas. It's thin, but great, uh, great padding for one who wears a lot of plate armor. Because as a rule of thumb, the more plate you wear, the less padding you're going to want because then you can wear more plate, and the plate should be absorbing most of the shock, uh, <clears throat> rather, most of the damage, the uh, padding here just acting as a bit of a, a bit of a shock absorber, you know, so it doesn't go into your skin. You, know, you don't need a lot of padding when you're wearing plate armor. Um, let's see here. The, uh, <clears throat> these squeezes here, are a little, a little more thickly padded because they are my main leg armor. I have a pair of splinted leg armor, but due to some problems, I usually wear these. <clears throat> so, the gambeson, the quilted, the quilted cuisses, and the shin and the shin guards I got from Cult of Athena. Um, they have many fine retailers. I would highly recommend them. The brigandine. I made with a friend of mine, John Kaiser. He's an excellent craftsman. I learned a lot from him, and I plan to continue to work with him for a very long time. The arm and the arms and spalders I got from Stephanie Angle. She is a SEA armor, and also a great armor. The helmet I also got from Cult of Athena. Falchion, Cult of Athena, the shield uh, made by my uncle. These gauntlets I'm borrowing from my friend John. So, yeah, he made these as well. But yeah, that's that for uh, where I got all this and where you can get all this. Um, next video, I'm going to discuss steel things.